For Ayanti Brown, this is another routine visit at the Schneider Regional Medical Center and its dialysis unit. The 23-year-old has been a dialysis patient since the age of 12. Back then, she was the youngest patient, and a decade later, she still is. I am on dialysis. I have um, end-stage renal disease. I had it since I was 12, and I guess I've been suffering with it ever since. End-stage renal disease is the last stage of chronic kidney disease, which means that Ayanti must need a kidney transplant to stay alive and be off of dialysis completely. For 10 long years, she's been receiving dialysis treatment three days a week for three hours at a time. I went to middle school, Bertha, Bertha C. Bushalti, and I was leaving school and coming to dialysis. After dialysis, I would just go home and eat and rest. And it would be like that for probably the next, probably the next seven years until I receive a transplant in 2008. But her first kidney transplant didn't last long. After being free of dialysis for about a year, Ayanti lost her new kidney. The day when I was feeling sick and I had to go to the emergency room, I called my mom and I was like, Mom, I lost my kidney. I think I'm losing it. She was like, don't say that. And I was like, yes. The next day I had to fly out to go to Miami. And while I was there, they told me I lost my kidney. Three years later, the memories are still painful. Her dream to finally have a life off of dialysis was crushed. I waited so long for the kidney and I felt so much better to finally be off of dialysis and have a normal life. But then when they said I lost my kidney, it was like, like I lost my life, it was just so hard. And I, I couldn't stop crying even today when I talk about it. It makes me cry because I really wanted that kidney. Ayanti is now on the waiting list for another kidney transplant. Medicare will cover 80% of the total cost of the surgery, but Ayanti will still have to find about $50,000 to cover the remaining 20%. I've realized that, that God, that God, That God helps you, and God doesn't let you have things that he knows he's not going to help you. She hopes that help comes in the form of a new kidney, and that help comes soon. Allison Bourne-Vanak, News 2.